Salvador? What do you want? How's it going? Hmm. This is a very crude security system. The library's protected data is like an open book. I'm sorry about Saudi. She... It's not your fault. Um... I wanted to ask you if I could take a break. I'm dead tired. So, my lady needs a vacation? Only a little sleep. I've accomplished a lot and... Listen, radio operator. This is an extremely important mission, understood? My friends died yesterday, too. If we slacked off, their deaths would have been in vain. That's not what I meant. There's much left to do. What do you think we could do next? I could go looking for the second data crystal and... Fall to your death? We've already lost one pilot. There must be another way down. I could try to send a request for help. If I want to radio, I'm going to ask Delvin, radio operator. There must be something more important you could do, right? I could search the area for something useful. I'm not going to send you on a pleasure walk while we work our butts off. So, Milady is going to secure the area. I don't want us to get murdered in our sleep. There's a probe in that box. Wait! How- You take the drill, then you drill a hole through that pile of rubble. Then you send the probe through that hole. Do you still have your time radio transmitter? I am a radio operator after all. Then you'll hide in some corner and you'll use your TRT to steer the probe through the building. After that, you can take your break for all I care. Oh dear, I hope this will work. Hey! It worked! You drilled a hole into a heap of debris. Bravo. And I think I did a good job of it. Continue. Damn it! You didn't drop it, did you? No, everything's fine. I must use the control panel of the TRT to control the probe. Nigel? Salvador! I just saw Nigel! Behind the wall! He's alive! It was just your imagination. But he... It's impossible to survive a drop like that. We must help him. You did your job. Now go and take your damn break. He still lives, and I'm going to find him. That was an order, radio operator. Your orders don't carry any weight here. Go take a nap. I need your... Can you help me to boost the drill? A plasma drill? Why? I have to drill my way into the library. Whoa, 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 that's dangerous. The whole building could collapse. I'll take care. Don't worry. Have I ever broken something important? Hmm? You could try using a condenser membrane to increase the power feed. We only have one membrane, though, and I need that one myself. Sorry. Can I just borrow it real quick? You'll get it back in a second. Promise. No, I really can't do that. My color modulator has gone crazy and I need the membrane to keep the energy level steady. If the light slips into the red spectrum even a little, the pulsar will tear the instruments to pieces. You need it so the light will stay blue? Yes, exactly. You got it. Nigel is still alive! Are you absolutely certain? I saw him! We have to go to him immediately. And Salvador, he doesn't want to help. When was the last time you got some sleep? So, you don't want to believe me either? You should rest. Thanks. I'll make do. I wonder if things will ever be like they once were. What do you mean? At this time a week ago, we sat together and told stories. But now, there's only this mission. That's so... so... 
unfair? Yes. What did you need the membrane for again? You didn't quite understand it the first time, hmm? My color modulator has gone crazy and I need the membrane to keep the energy level steady. If the light slips into the red spectrum even a little, the pulsar will tear the instruments to pieces. So the light must stay blue. Thanks. I'll get on with things then. See you. I'll take the filter out. Could this blue filter replace the condenser membrane? May I see it? That is a little crude, but yes, it could work. Fantastic! It really works! Here, I think you can have the membrane now, but be careful with it. It's just a net? Hmm, yes. In order to use it, you must put an energy source in it and then connect it to the drill. The net draws energy from the battery, pools it, and redirects it to the end device. Understood. Now I only need a battery. I saw one in the camp earlier. Maybe you should look there. Okay, thanks. Oops! A battery! That would have hurt if Delvin had laid down on it. I'd better take it. In with it! The battery is in the net now. Let's see. Well, a small round piece of glass, and it shines red. I'm getting better with the drill. This could actually work. Wow. If I can make it a little stronger, I could do it. Could do what? Oh, nothing. Good. The drill should have enough power now. It had to work this time. I had the net with the battery, and I had the filter module with the red glass. And a very vivid imagination. I don't know from where you acquired your knowledge about lasers, but red lasers have lower energy levels than blue ones. And how that membrane of yours is supposed to work is a mystery to me as well. I risked so much to be here today, and you really believe I'm just making all of this up? Are you mad? We are inside a ruin and you blow up the walls? The door is open now. Wait a sec. How did you do that? I focused the energy supply and manipulated the color frequency through an improvised modulator. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Come here. You can't order me around. I just want to show you something, so come here. Hey, what are you doing? I still need the drill. Just making sure you don't tear down the foundation. You can keep the membrane, now get out of my face. Nigel? Hello? Here are a few broken boards, a squashed ventilation system, and a chip. I'd better take it. It might still work. Yes, the paddle has the right length. Oh no, the runnel washed it down even further. Hmm, I had an idea. 
I took the piece of soap and washed it down at the same spot the data crystal had been. The lower end is tightly wound around the banister. I'll do that from further up. I hope the debris can hold my weight. Ooh! Ugh! I did it. Now I only have to... And go! So much for that. Now I only have to get back... Ah! Hello? Is someone there? Red Curry Coke, new. An electronic lock? How strange. Oh dear, that looks complicated. I wonder what all these switches are for. Hmm, the color of the little lamp above the switch changed and the floater to the right moved. I should see what happens if all lamps glow green. I did it! If I trip the main switch now, I should have power again! Oops! Oh no, not that too! A short! The left display case held an old monitor, big and bulky, just like the one you have over there. Sounds like you ended up in a media archive. <laughs> That's great. They put more effort into preserving old machines than into preserving the climate. I actually believe you on this one. An old exposed cable in a puddle. That must be the reason for the short. It runs along the wall up to here, and then it just disappears. Yes! Problem solved! Soap in the runnel. Cute idea. Did you find this data crystal that way? Oh, of course. The foam showed me the way. I only hoped it would still work. I found the second data crystal. Can you read the data? Please? Not bad, radio operator. But you skipped your break for nothing. The damned crystal is broken. Maybe we can find out where Nigel got the data in the first place and download it again. The data is ruined, but this ID chip still seems to work. If you can find a working terminal, you can use this crystal to log onto Nigel's account. His password is... Blue Green Algae. Right. That's my Nigel. The cyanobacteria is the key. Let it go. 
I'm sure the old man didn't find anything useful. May I have it back? Take it. It should have power now. No, it's broken. That's exactly what I need. Yes, that was easy. Okay, little chip, you did a great job, but it is time to let go now. Farewell. Okay, in you go. Oh, how I miss animals and people. Instead, there's only machines that don't even thank you for helping them. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Good evening. Thank you for maintenance of this terminal. Mmm. Good evening. And you are welcome. Please enter your password. The password is blue-green algae? Welcome back. Nigel, what can I do for you? What is this? My name is Quickie, and I am part of the Multifunctional Quickie Information System Platinum. In order to make your time at the Jack London Library as comfortable as possible, I possess a complex but high-performance system of state-of-the-art civility algorithms. I am fluent in 34 languages, and I offer access to... I want to download the same data as yesterday. Error. This query cannot be processed. This query cannot be processed. Please try again. Nigel. I don't understand any of this. I need help. There is no help available on the topic, help. Just great. What is this? Do you want to know more? The Quickie Information System Platinum was developed by Sarah Vasquez and stands for Quick Unit Including Countless Knowledge Involving Everything. What is this? My name is Quickie, and I am part of the multifunctional Quickie Information System Platinum. In order to make your time at the Jack London Library as comfortable as possible, I possess a complex but high-performance system of state-of-the-art civility algorithms. I am fluent in 34 languages, and I offer access to... I want to download the data from yesterday again. Very well. May I call your attention to the comprehensive services we offer? Thanks, but that won't be necessary. About which topic do you wish to access further information? The cafeteria's menu? I said that it... Benefits for premium account customers? Or maybe our versatile e-learning offers? What is a cafeteria? The premium account offers several interesting advantages. Did you know, for example, that premium customers have a limitless media flat rate or that they get a reduced admission fee to our introductory events? If you register with one of our service personnel now, you will get a quickie key ring for free. Do I really have to listen to all of this? What's this premium account then? You want to know more about our cafeteria's menu? How about an ample breakfast? Or maybe you just prefer a cup of coffee. 
Naito, enjoy our rich breakfast offers at an unbeatable all-you-can-eat price. Everything's in ruins here, and that thing is telling me something about premium offers. You want more information about our comprehensive e-learning offers? Set out to discover a new virtual learning experience and increase your areas of expertise. Do not hesitate and register for a trial month of our e-learning program today. You want to download the data now without further information on our service offers? Very well. Finally. Loading. 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 Process aborted. Couldn't initiate upload. Please talk to our friendly personnel at one of the service points. All the personnel are dead. I am sorry, but I didn't understand you correctly. Please repeat your enquiry. There are no workers here anymore. They all died during the climate disaster. I am sorry, but I still couldn't understand you. Please talk to the staff. Why can't I upload the data to the crystal? Upload couldn't be initiated for unknown reasons. But don't worry, Nigel. We have a copy of your data in our crystal archive. Please talk to the service personnel at one of the service points to get help. What's a service point supposed to be anyway? Our service points are marked by a blue neon sign. Just look around. You can't miss them. Our friendly employees are always happy to help you. But please understand that the large number of visitors can cause waiting times. I don't want to stand in line for my data. If you have to wait for more than five minutes, we offer refreshments to our customers. I'm not thirsty, and I want my data right now! I apologize for the inconvenience. The safes in the Crystal Archive are unlocked now. Please follow the glowing lamps to the requested data storage. Error. Light signal in the shelf malfunctioning. An employee was advised of it and will change the lamp. Data Crystal can only be unlocked if the lamps in both slots are working. I ask for a little patience and wish you a good day. Nigel. Damn it! Do you have the data? Yes, I even got the original data. Well done, give it to me. I hope we'll have more luck this time. Does it work? Stop needling me, radio operator. It takes a moment. <sighs> Faye, come here. You have to see this. Emilio Endes. Tycoon and multimillionaire, and he's in the energy industry. Look, at the turn of the millennium, he built more than 30 large-scale power plants in third world countries, 10 of those right here in the Brazilian jungle. And then, boom. The explosion destroyed the better part of the rainforest in no time at all. The effects of that were cataclysmic. That's terrible. Nuclear winter. Greenhouse effect. The Gulf Stream dried up. And look, the poles. 
All that happened within just a couple of years. That photo, what was it? The dangers of climate change had already been known for some time. There were protests. There was even a class action against Indes power plants right before the event. And this, the International Energy Inspection Authority. There was a hearing in Oslo where they decided whether Indes may continue to operate as power plants. That must be it. Nigel wanted us to travel there, to that conference. Maybe, maybe not. Look what it says. The decision was made in favor of Indes because of lack of alternatives. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The Indes. algae! Salvador, I'm absolutely certain. The conference is our chance. We must present the algae. If Indes must pull the plug on his power plants, the Earth will be saved. Too risky. Indes is our target. If we can stop Indes, we can stop the climate change. Either way, we must get to the conference. Wrong. We must get to the power plant. We must prevent the accident. If we did that, we would only delay the catastrophe. The other power plants... Fiddlesticks, I've made my decision. We go to Brazil. You move on ahead to Delvin. Tell him to get the time capsule ready. A reactor accident? Nonsense. If a climate catastrophe occurs, it will be through global warming. Continuous environmental pollution is the enemy, and not some Hollywood scenario. Y yes Continuous environmental pollution that can go off with full effect in the blink of an eye. Nonsense. Simply nonsense. Whatever triggered it, we can prevent it with your help. We have a target time. Now we need the atom and a time capsule that's ready for takeoff. Go ask Delvin if he solved the problem by now. Del Faye, I unpacked our rations. Here, take this. Delvin, we have a new objective. We must go further back into the past. A power plant exploded and caused the climate change. A power plant exploded? That's our chance to keep the catastrophe from happening. We only need a magnetized atom from that time, right? Only? <laughs> yes. We neither have the instruments nor the time to find and date such an atom. Where did you get the information about the power plant from, anyway? I downloaded the photos from one of the terminals. Hmm. In the past, photos and films were saved on gelatin-coated media, so-called videotapes. If we can find the original material, the atom we need would be in the gelatin coating. Do you happen to know where there's an archive here? I'm working on it. Take care. We still need the original recordings from the archive. I'm working on it. Did you talk to Delvin? Yes, the time capsule is up and running, and we can get the atom from the original tape. Delvin is a genius. And you, you will find a way down there and get the video material. Each artifact in this archive has an identification number. The original recording of the Indus catastrophe begins with the ID 2110-8321-00. That should help you in your search.
Hey, I made contact with the probe and... Oops. <laughs> Go away. Get off. Get off. Get off. Who is there? Hey, I know someone's there. Talk to me. Leave me alone. What do you want from me? Who are you? Who am I? No, no. Who are you? I'm Faye. Are there any other survivors? Yeah, as many friends. I have a lot of friends here, Faye. What's behind this door? The depot. My home. I need access to the media archive. Do you have something to eat? I'm starving. I have these pills. I don't want any pills. Can you cook? I can't cook you something. Then I won't let you in. Is Nigel here somewhere? Who, who is Nigel? An older man with a beard and glasses. He... he must be here somewhere. No, no one's here. But you just said you weren't alone. I told you, no one's here. Leave me alone. Okay, I'll leave. That's no use. I don't think so. It's welded closed, as if someone barricaded themselves on the other side. An electronic lock? How strange. Clever. I'm going to draw the energy from the lock into the battery and then I can open it. How, how am I going to explain this to Delvin? I better keep it to myself. What is this? Hey, I know this. It's money. Unbelievable. You recognized it immediately? Yes. My father had shown me some when I was little. We never really understood how to use it, but I was about to find out. Wouldn't that be funny? Looks like it could fit. Now it's gone. Oh, really sticky. Look, I have something for you. Put it on the stairs over there. Now get out. I'll let you in if I liked it. <laughs> 